and we clean up litter, and we help the elders. Hey, I'm Jonathan, and I like to recycle, and I volunteer at local environmental organizations to teach people about environmental issues. My name is Carolina, and one of the ways that I really care about the environment is that the ocean is very important to me, especially where I live here in Newfoundland, and we're surrounded by the ocean. So one of the things that I like to do is I really like to help out with the beach shoreline cleanup, including the great shoreline cleanup that happens every year. Yeah, I fit in, uh, I grow my own vegetables in my backyard, so I contribute to food security and I try to grow as organically as I can using local products. Well, I fit in for the environment because uh, each time I go to the supermarket, I use my re reusable bag. It's very easy and it's less plastic bag uh, going everywhere. And it's great and it's easy and you can do it as well. Uh, so I got rid of my car uh, in August, so I've been biking all winter long since then. Uh, I eat a diet of plants, so I don't eat, I don't eat any animals at all. Um, and I also, when I go to the store, I often buy in bulk. So uh, I compost in my kitchen. I have about a hundred worms underneath my uh, counter in a plastic container. And uh, I put all my uh, peels in there, and uh, the worms eat it, and then I use it in the spring for soil. I think we have to live more sober. With going from A to B, we can reuse the older cars, which are can be fixed. We can reuse a, a lot of things which do not need to be thrown away, because this is the issue here. Is that we live in now more and more in a throwaway society. I can think about the amount of packaging that's on the items that I buy in the grocery store. Um, if I can buy in bulk and then separate it for lunches and send it to school with my kids that way, then I really try to do that. I also try to think about um, the quality of the things that I buy, so I'd rather spend a little more on something that I'll be able to use for a number of years. And so Individual effort is crucial. Without an individual change of consciousness, nothing's going to happen. So there's so many young people who are undertaking to perform their lives, to make themselves eco-literate. Uh, all of this needs to be supported and promoted. However, as Pope Francis said, this is too big for the individual alone. We need massive communal change if we are to see, let's say, the next generation uh, living sustainably on this planet. Something on the scale of what we saw in the civil rights movement of the 60s or in the Second World War when the whole population of North America was mobilized. How is this going to occur? My hope is that we'll see more of this. We'll see individuals banding together, grouping together, supporting each other, uh, producing alternative communities, producing alternative forms of exchange, uh, promoting uh, an alternative form of living on the planet, on a, on a global, on a, on a lo starting on a local scale but creating a kind of contagion of, of, uh, of local communal activism that could really, I think, uh, make the, the difference we need.